Hi friends! This is M, and welcome back to my channel. As is tradition, we're starting by lighting a candle. Today is white birch from Candles. As you all know, they're my absolute favorite. If I'm lighting a candle that's not Candles on here, it's gonna be a big surprise. And I am using so many supplies today. So I'm using an A5 Archer and Olive uh, bullet journal, as well as a, a, some Tombos, some, some mild liners, some Calliographs, and some stickers from Marigona Sully. There is just so much. Also, halfway through, I decide that, that today is the, is the day that I want to do stamping, which goes, I don't want to say catastrophically wrong, but it does go wrong. <laughs> uh, now, before we get like really, really into it, this theme is 100% inspired by Planned and Planted's September bullet journal setup, where she did all of the the little bees with their sort of green and brown um color scheme and i really liked it except i wanted to do it with sunflowers so that's where <laughs> that's what we're doing today comment down below what you're most excited for in october for me i would say not my wedding <laughs> But I'm excited to see all of the people that are coming to my wedding in October. Um, I, I'm already, Gil and I have already gotten married, so it's not like th that part is going to be missing. I am excited to hear his vows, though, because we each, we each decided that we were going to write, like, a little bit of vows. I think we said five to seven sentences. I, I, I really hope that he, that he stuck to that, too. He can be kind of wordy sometimes. But this is like the cover page mixed with the quotes page. And with my bullet journal setups, I tend to go rogue. And by that, I mean, I, I don't plan it out <laughs> beforehand. Planning it out beforehand is something that I've always wanted to do. But, you know, sometimes you just need to have the spread done today and not tomorrow. That's sort of where we were going with that. So... Uh, I have like my little quote page on the left hand side, which I do think is really, really pretty, but I didn't do anything super special for the title page then. So it's like a whole thing. I basically, we're, we're playing everything by ear. We're making it up as we go along and we're here to have a good time. So hopefully you feel the same. Another thing that I'm really excited about for October is for all of the wedding planning to be done and to finally get a chance to relax. Also, people will stop asking me how wedding planning is going because that is my current least favorite question in the world. <laughs> my, my old least favorite question used to be, when are you gonna graduate? And then I graduated. And then they go, oh, what are you gonna do for, for a job? So I've, I keep answering these questions, but oh, we'll see. For October, for my IRL book club, uh, we're reading Bright Young Women by, I don't, I don't, I don't remember her name, Jessica something, I think. Um, but every time I hear that title, I keep, I cannot stop thinking of part of, part of your world, part of my world from, from The Little Mermaid, which is like, bright young women. <laughs> so I just keep singing that in my head. And not even the whole song, just that part over and over and over again. It doesn't make any sense. Um, in terms of the washi tape that I'm using here, uh, the Stunflower one is from Marigona Suli Art and the adorable, this, one, the, this is my favorite washi probably ever. The star washi is from Archer and Olive. Long time fan. <laughs> now, it is, as I'm recording this, it is September 30th. I'm cutting this really, really close to the wire. And by that, I mean this is going up on October 1st. But I feel like the beginning of the month and the end of the month are always super hectic and chaotic. So, like, today, I'm trying to you know, wrap up all of my setup for the month to come, but we're also, I have my, I have my list here of things that I'm working on, which is laundry, groceries, taking books to the little free library, goodwill donations, meal prep, doing a wedding sign, print order, getting frames for those signs. <laughs> like, bright side, some of this is already done. 
We also went out to this brunch place today, which I was very excited about because they, it's like brunch charcuterie boards. So they bring out a board that's full of like pancakes and bacon and stuff like that. It was really good. <laughs> I'm also finally revisiting the monthly theme idea um, where by that I mean like the monthly spread. I thought I saw I think it was bullet journal by Chloe do this and I, I know a lot of people have done it where like rather than just having a plain old regular regular calendar you go through and you shade them in uh, in the colors of your theme and it does make it so much more vibrant and fun to look at like this is I mean it's it's a monthly spread it's a calendar right but this is a calendar I want to look at so I think that this idea might be something that I continue in the in the weeks to come or I'll transition to like a single page just the dates no no room to like write things in next to them but just so I always know oh October 1st is a Sunday you know that sort of thing which can that can also be helpful just because you know I don't want to be tied to my computer always I don't want I and I mean I love I love a Google, Google calendar I love a Google Calendar, but I do want to be able to know like the days of the week <laughs> without having to look on my Google Calendar. That being said, it was the end of the fiscal year at work this week, so my Monday felt like it was three days long. I spent the entire week not knowing what day it was. <laughs> Because I would wake up and I'd be like, it's Thursday, right? And they're like, no, it's Tuesday. And I go, oh, no. <laughs> also, let me know. I'm trying to edit these down a little bit more so you guys don't have to watch me color in every single one of these, you know? If you like that, let, tell me. Because otherwise, I mean, I can leave it as is or, or we can do all of the coloring together. <laughs> if, if that floats your boat, you know? whatever but as always the goal is to make things as cute as possible so that I'll actually use them I know that in my August bullet journal setup which I don't even think I don't even think it made the light of day because it was it was super functional but it was not pretty like honestly it's one of those where I wish I could just rip it out of my bullet journal I'm, just, I'm over here I'm just cringing the thoughts and it's it's nobody's fault but mine like the stickers were cute the idea was cute it was just poorly executed <laughs> um but this this i think i can use and i and i feel i feel the same way about the trackers and things that we're about to make the only downside of course is that you know you know i don't know how to stamp all right I've not, they, I've, I haven't taken a lesson or anything like that. So, I mean, it's really cute. Like the whole idea of it with tracking my mileage so that I can, you know, know how much I'm moving and I can correlate how much I'm moving with my moods because that's absolutely how my brain works. If I'm not like moving my body, I am in a, a huge funk just a sneak peek for when we turn the page. That's where we're going with this. <laughs> but September was a huge st step back, I think for me in terms of my mental health. I, cause my, I basically learned by trial by fire uh, that I have seasonal allergies now. And it means that my throat is just like constantly filled with phlegm. And so the first week when it transitions from summer to fall, I am just, qu well, not even quietly, I am loudly dying. <laughs> and, and so that meant I wasn't leaving my house. I wasn't, you know, doing my exercise. And then I just felt, fell right off that wagon. That wagon kept going all the way down the Oregon Trail, left me behind to get bitten by snakes. <laughs> This idea too, um, I think I got this idea from Erin Smith art because she did this with some of her weekly spreads where she would rip up some paper and then you, I think she, she used stamps on them for the lettering. Um, 
but I thought this was really cute. I still think it's really cute. I wish I could just pause this and go, Emma, don't use the stamps. They're just gonna hurt you. <laughs> but they're cute. They're really cute. And I'm really excited. So we're setting, we're, we have the mileage set up. I'll probably write, just write in the days, like one through 31, and then just do the mileage next to it or something. I might, maybe I'll add color. Who knows? <laughs> but on for the October habits, this is what I'm really excited about. And I think this is going to work because I'm fairly certain that the ink I was using was like archival or whatever. So if it gets, if I put ink on top of it, it should be okay. Um, so for the eight habits that I'm tracking, which are as follows, uh, run, night guard, floss, eat in, work out, create, candle and no spend so run and workout they go together if, it, if i'm marking on the run chart i'm going to be marking on the workout chart and if i'm marking on the uh floss and night guard those those should be the same too but i'm gonna use like a zig dot pen or something and just like put the dot on top of it if i've done it i'm really excited to see how that turns out now if there's if there's like some bleedage and stuff then we'll see and, and maybe I'll have to figure out another strategy for how I want to do this next time around. But I think what I might do in the future is instead of using the archival ink, I might just use Tombow's, which I did in a, a previous video with stamping um, where you just you kind of essentially just paint on the uh, the ink where you want it to be. So that's that's pretty nice. And the the big part about that that I like uh, is that in general, it doesn't end up on the other side of the page. <laughs> now, that being said, sometimes it'll bleed through to the other side, but that's if I get it like really, really wet and juicy. Moist, so to speak. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's, it's October. There are three months left in the year. October always feels, it's kind of like scary, but also really exciting at the same time. Especially in Knoxville, fall is awesome here. Like it's, it's like 60, 50 to 80 degrees at all times, usually pretty sunny. So there's going to be plenty of time for hiking and all that sort of stuff. And that if you watched my goals setup video, you'll know that there was a lot of active motion included on there. So we will be getting that done. Here comes the stamps. Oh God. What's, what's, what's so bad is that I was here and I was like, oh my gosh, everything looks great. And then I'm just watching this and I go past Emma, just put, just put, put a piece of paper, put a piece of paper in between your beautiful, pristine monthly mileage spread and the other. Don't just flip it. Don't just flip it and set up a weekly spread. <sighs> Hindsight's 2020, y'all. <laughs> So if, again, stamping tips, let me know, cause I, I, I desperately need help. I could go back in and like put a new um, piece of dot grid paper on top, but that's about it for in things that are for the monthly setup. I then go right into making my first weekly spread just because, I mean, A, that's primarily what I use my bullet journal for, but also just because I am going to be using, you know, the same set of stickers all month. So I wanted to make something that didn't use too many of them so that it would give me a little more freedom for the future spreads. So there's some sunflower books ones. That's going to be like an entire spread or possibly two. Um, there's also a lot of just greenery and just like some tea. I think that's going to be a fun, a fun one. And that's all, honestly why, why uh, Mari Gonosuli is one of my favorite shops to buy from, because she has all of she has this very distinct witchy aesthetic, but she also when she does her drops, the spread the stickers usually co coordinate with each other, so you can buy a couple, and then you can use them for an entire month. Big, big fan. 
I'm also realizing that I never went in and actually like lettered the name of what each of these days is. I think, I'm not entirely sure. I think the plan is to have uh, Monday through Thursday on the left hand side and then Friday and the weekend be those two really big boxes and then have notes in the sort of smaller one by the sunflower when I draw it in. Partially just because, I don't know, I'm still figuring out exactly what works for me in terms of my Bujo. I was digging when I had the week on the left hand side and all of my to do's on the right hand side, but that doesn't always work for me. I also had really enjoyed having my habit trackers on the weeklies, but then I, I run out of space for other things. So I think this week I'm just going to focus on figuring, figuring things out and stay tuned on my Instagram probably because I think that's where I'm going to be posting the weekly spreads as I make them. So thank you so much for watching this video if you've made it this far. Uh, I hope that you like it. I hope that if you like this video, you hit the like button, you subscribe, and you comment down below anything you want because I've asked so many different questions to you this time that, you know, <laughs> whatever. You do what you want. And I hope you really enjoy this final flip through. I'm really, really content with how this theme term turned out. And I think it's super achievable. And I really want to do something similar to it again. So that's exciting. And as always, happy planning. <laughs>